yes, it almost looks like fog. You can't see too terribly far away, and that is impacting our air quality. Uh, still in the unhealthy for sensitive groups category. So that's folks with asthma, COPD, or maybe you're just especially sensitive to particulate matter. Limit time outdoors, unfortunately. Temperatures right now heating up. Air temperatures into the low to mid 80s. Already feeling a little bit warmer, though. We're going to keep it that way. Plenty of sunshine behind all that smoke going to help us warm up a little bit, but temperatures could be curbed slightly due to the smoke. The eat outside index today got to set a seven. The combination of the smoke temperatures into the lower 90s and the breezy winds had to dock a few points, but you know what? It's dry. We're staying dry. 92 your high this afternoon in Omaha, 89 for folks in Beatrice, 84 Carroll Atlantic with winds out of the south up to about 20 miles an hour. So jazz on the green tonight at Midtown Crossing, 730. Curly Taylor and the Zydeco Trouble. Hot and <laughs> smoky, of course. 7 o'clock, uh, we're up to 90 still. Clear and warm, though, by 985. We're going to keep it pretty warm even overnight tonight. But it's heading into your Friday, Saturday, and then even into Sunday, we're going to see those temperatures into the upper 90s and those heat indices feeling like more than 100. Some of us could be feeling closer to 105, which is, of course, dangerous. Heading into the rest of this week, still looking dry and hot. Slight chance for a few isolated showers and storms Sunday afternoon and evening into Monday, but don't go canceling any of those plans just yet. We do need that rain, though. So seven day forecast nearly every day after today impact weather. If it's not the heat, it's their shower chances. But 92 today feeling closer to the mid 90s and yeah, we're still very smoky, uh, mostly sunny, just downright hot heading into your Friday and Saturday. And we do see that chance uh, for heat indices between 100 to 105. So please, please make sure you know the difference between heat exhaustion heat stroke and have a plan in place to keep yourself, your friends, family, even those pets cool.